A Soviet-era spacecraft meant to land on Venus in the 1970s is expected to soon plunge uncontrolled back to Earth. It's too early to know where the half-ton mass of metal might come down or how much of it will survive re-entry, according to space debris tracking experts. The failed spacecraft will re-enter around the 10th of May. Estimations say it will come crashing in at 150 miles per hour, 242 kilometers per hour, if it remains intact. The Soviet Union launched the spacecraft known as Cosmos 482 in 1972, one of a series of Venus missions. But it never made it out of Earth orbit because of a rocket malfunction. Most of it came tumbling down within a decade. Scientists believe the landing capsule itself, a spherical object about three feet in diameter, has been circling the world in a highly elliptical orbit for the past 53 years, gradually dropping in altitude. It's quite possible that the 1,000-pound-plus, nearly 500-kilogram spacecraft will survive re-entry. It was built to withstand a descent through the carbon dioxide-thick atmosphere of Venus. Experts doubt the parachute system would work after so many years. The heat shield may also be compromised after so long in orbit. It would be better if the heat shield fails, which would cause the spacecraft to burn up during its dive through the atmosphere, but if the heat shield holds, it'll re-enter intact and you'll have a half-ton metal object falling from the sky. The spacecraft could re-enter anywhere between 51.7 degrees north and south latitude or as far north as London and Edmonton in Alberta, Canada, almost all the way down to South America's Cape Horn. But since most of the planet is water, chances are good it will indeed end up in some ocean. So, hopefully, nothing to worry about.